Good morning, everyone. My name is Max. It is about 30 degrees in my garage right now, so I might be a little shaky. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to edit faster in Premiere Pro. All right, so the first thing we do is we just grab a new clip. So say, this I'm using red files right now. Um, this is gonna be done with anything, but um, you just click new sequence from clip here, and it um, are automatically creates a sequence that is the correct file size for you. So this clip here was shot in about 240 frames a second, so it's super slow. And um, the way I edit is a little bit different. This is how I learned. It's just everyone has their own preferences. This is how I prefer it. Basically what I do, so say I've got all these files here from the my clip batch, and all I'll do is drag them onto the timeline. I know that's crazy because most people, what they'll do is they'll click it, they'll click this, it'll come up in the source viewer, and then you go set your in and out points and then drag it or you probably have a keyframe or something, whatever. This is what I found to be the easiest. So out of all these clips right here, there's about 25 and a half minutes of footage. And so say I wanna click my favorite part, like right here, all I do is press Q, it cuts there, and I'm like, boom, I want that, done. That's all I get from that clip, okay? So I'm gonna do that again, I'm gonna show you how to set that in your keyboard so that you can do this automatically and a lot faster. The reason I use Q is because Q cuts everything from where the playhead is to the left side. So I click Q, check it out, deletes it there, and say I just want this, and everything after W, Q is the left, W is on the right. You can set any key, it's just what I'm used to. W cuts everything from the playhead to the right, up to the next clip. So it's not gonna delete everything past the clip, it's really only if you make a a cut. Also, um, if you do Command K, it cuts the clip there, and this automatically creates a new cut. So that when I press W, it's not going to delete the entire clip, if that makes sense. So right now, what I'm going to do is bring you into the keyboard on how to change it to that setting. So you go up to Premiere Pro CC or whatever you have; it should be the same. Go to Keyboard Shortcuts right here, and basically, what you want to do is search for Ripple Trim. And so this is how, how it works. Ripple trim next edit to playhead. I know it sounds confusing, but it's pretty much what I taught you is that if you hit W, it's gonna go everything to the right side of the playhead. Q is gonna delete everything from the left side of the playhead, always up to the previous clip. So whenever there's a cut, it's not gonna go all the way and delete the entire project. It's just gonna delete up to the next cut or the previous cut, depending on Q or W. I click Q because Q is to my left, W is to the right on the keyboard, just makes sense for me. You really can add anything that you want. And it's confusing because W comes first and then Q comes afterwards. So just know that ripple trim next edit to playhead, next is W, ripple trim previous edit to playhead is Q. So you can go ahead and type those in, click those, make whatever you want, I mean you can do one and two, whatever you're used to. Uh, another great one is if you search for add edit, mine is command K, and basically what that does is instead of pressing B for blade, cutting it with your mouse, and then going back to C or A to select your cursor, all this does, command K literally creates an edit. So check this out. So right now I'm in the middle of this clip right here, and I want it to be done right there. Command K, so it splits it, and maybe I want to use this part to like right here. W deletes it from after that point. So I'm going to show it to you in this clip. So right now this clip is about 26 seconds. We got this dog running, and right here there's just kind of some eh, like I don't really care for that. So let's start from right here. Boom, love it, and then cut right there. But I do press Command K, it splits the clip there. And then I play it to the, the other part that I want, say right about here. All I do is press Q, and it cuts everything up to the last clip that you had. So check it out. So it goes from here, press play, boom. Cuts right there, and I just want it to right here. Command K splits it, you can see that. And then I want it to right, let's say right here. Q deletes everything, check it out. So you got that and then it cuts it to there, and then, yep, love it, see, boom. Command K, and then you can just delete the clip. Another great thing that I think is really awesome 
see how when I drag it the playhead automatically highlights the next clip? If you go to sequence and click selection follows playhead, this makes things a lot easier so that you don't have to be clicking the clip each time. Because if I uncheck this and if I'm following through, it doesn't click it and then I have to like click it to to select it. So this is awesome because it automatically highlights certain things for you. This is really helpful when you've got long sequences of slow motion or other things that you just want to drag through. Um, again, this is my preference on how I do things, on how I edit things. So it's made me a lot faster on editing projects that would usually take a really long time. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions.